To get started creating your new project, go to your console at console.cloud.google.com. If this is your first time creating a project, you're basically going to see a blank screen. There will be a bar on it that says create a new project. You'll just have to click on that. Because if you don't have a project yet, the first thing the console is going to make you do is create one. If you already have projects, you're just going to see this dashboard. You'll click on this down arrow, and there's the new project button over here in the top right corner of the dialog. So we're going to click on that. At this point, you need to give your project a name. And if you are in an organization, you can choose the organization, but this only works for Google Workspaces or for corporate accounts. Once you pick the project name, you click to pre create the project and Google will start to create a bunch of default network and default firewall rules. Once it's done, you can click on select project, either right here under the my new project, or you can use the down arrow again. We're going to click on select project and that's going to switch the default screen here to working in the new project. In my case, it was called my new project. Again, you can use this down arrow and it will show all your projects. All right, the first thing we're going to do in our new project is we're going to clean up that default VPC. Definitely don't want that because it has a lot of insecure firewall rules associated with it. So if we go to firewall rules, we can take a look at those type in firewall up here in search and you can see the firewall rules if you get this warning about enabling the compute engine api go ahead and enable it this is perfectly normal google disables the api calls from your new project by default for security reasons and also to keep you from accidentally using features that you never wanted to use once the Compute Engine API has been turned on, you're going to see the firewall rules. Don't be surprised if it takes more than a minute to turn on the APIs. It can take a really long time. So we're going to get rid of these default firewall rules, and eventually we're going to get rid of the default VPC entirely. We'll just create our own. So we'll delete the default firewall rules, which are insecure by default anyway. If you don't want to Come into the firewall rules using the search bar here. You can also use the menu. You click on the three bars, and then you go to VPC network and firewall. If you never visited VPC network before, you may have to find it in the list. Either way, you can come to firewall rules. Now we can get rid of the default network. So we type in VPC and click on VPC network or Again, you can click on the three bars, VPC network, and the VPC networks, and end up at the same screen. It's this default network that we don't want. So we're going to click on that, click on delete VPC network, and get rid of that default network. Once this is done, we'll have a new clean project without any VPCs in it, without any insecure firewalls in it, essentially a blank canvas for us to deploy our resources as we need. Most likely your first step will be creating a custom VPC network that'll have just the subnets in it that you need for your project.